let me just have a look at my notes. We're going to do some lovely arm lifts and then we're going to take it into a calf stretch. So I'll layer it on so you can add on if you want or not. So it's lovely level shoulders, level hips, your feet, just keep an eye on those cheeky toes because they have a tendency to wander off when they're not meant to. So have your crown above that coccyx and we're breathing in your palms to your thigh, lifting it up here. And then exhale, you're just taking your face. Remember, keep your face nice and level with that wall as your arm comes down. Breathe in to lift. So we just take it halfway down. That's it. Breathe in as you go up. Exhale here. Breathing in. And exhale. So I'm going to swap arms before we add on legs, just so you've got the, the flow. So breathing in all the way, exhale. So again, face nice and level with that wall or window you're facing. So not your chin out or your, or your forehead. That's it, exhale. Breathing in and exhale. So we're going into a lunge, but literally just to stretch your calf. So just make sure you've not, you're not gonna slide, just take a huge step forward. And the idea is that that heel is on the floor at the back. Your pelvis stays neutral. So just, you might wanna just bring your coccyx under just to keep the pelvis nice and steady. And you can actually be straight in this front leg or to get a slightly bit of an engagement in that forward legs glute you can bend it over the ankle but what I definitely want you to have is your back foot forward facing heel to the floor so you get a lovely lengthening in that calf muscle and again so with the right arm right leg back right arm lift just the same as before whoops exhale turn oh it's not the same Let's take this other arm up because I want it to be opposite to the face turn. Oh no, we can just turn our face, can't we? Stupid me. Right, here we're ready. Breathing in. <laughs> Exhale, that's better. That's what I meant. Exhale. Breathing in. So decide whether this front knee is hovering that ankle or whether it's straight. It's a bit easier if it's straighter, but honestly, it depends what your body's up to and whether it's gonna be safe for you to do that. So lift that pelvic floor, barely button in, and just enjoy that stretch. Honestly, your stretch is as important as your strength. And so fit it in here today. Okay, right, let's swap over. So to swap, moving your legs, make sure you secure your core, breath in, lift the pelvic floor, and swap over. That's it. So my front knee, hovering the front ankle, left foot now at the back and the uh, heel to the floor there. Okay, so we're turning this way. I'm leveling the pelvis, so make sure, sometimes you just have to whip your coccyx under just to make sure that your chest isn't out and you, it just makes you be neutral. Okay, breathing in, exhale. Pin this in, we're doing downward facing dog. So you're going to really want to be nice and warm. It's just part of the warm up that one will be, but this just warms you into it with your legs, stretching here and opening, just mobilizing your arms as well. But we're doing more here as well because I just want to get really nice and stretched out for what's to come. How are we doing? Beautiful. One more. And then let's go right into that warrior. So secure the core, come up. We're going to go back to the first leg. So I'm taking the right foot out now and then secure everything on that exhale step forward. So again, that forward knee can be straight or it can be hovering over that Ankle. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see, just kick that away. Notice that foot's to the side. 
okay? Hips are level and your pelvis is level. So just check you're not sticking your chest out, okay? Crown above that coccyx, we're beautiful and tall. Your palms are out to the front, in line with that front leg, and then we're twisting here. So you're gonna get a twist, think about it, think what's lengthening. For me, it's that front inner leg, and then as you come, shoulders and hips go to the side, and then I want your shoulders and hips to come to the front, then you get a lengthening in your back hip flexor as well, so it's another hip flexor stretch. We're not like this, hips down, crown over coccyx, and we're just spreading, well, your arms are spread, and you're just rotating there. Now, because your hips and your shoulders are coming to the side, you're not getting a rotation in your spine, it's more in your legs, actually, that stretch. Okay, we're ready to go down. So it's left hand in, travels down the front left leg or the other way if you happen to be the other way. Okay, hips are forwards and then I want you to hinge through your hips as your hand goes on that foot. And I'm getting an engagement here, a bit of a stretch there. Okay, and we can take the other arm up in line and then have your eyes in line with the fingers. Option to straighten the leg, get yourself a lovely stretch. Breathe into here. Beautiful. Okay, we're ready. To make it a little bit more of a deeper stretch, if it's not enough, take your hand by your big toe. Okay? You can do that and bend your leg. If it just gives you a slightly more different stretch, but you can do both if you wish. Two breaths here. Beautiful. And then I'm going to bend that knee to bring that arm down. I'm going to have my right hand now on that foot and lengthen it away there. So we're getting a nice thoracic stretch here as well. Breathe. Good. You can have a go at strength lengthening that front leg now you're this way, but it is harder. You might be able to do it better than me. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, secure everything and walk yourself back up. Okay, I'm going to see if I can just swap over sides. So now the left foot is at the back, I'm just going to move away from there. And the left foot is at the side, the right foot now at the front, points forwards, hips are forwards, scoop the coccyx under, shoulders there. And I'm going to just bend that front knee so that it's hovering over that heel there to begin with. Arms, palms out to the front. Don't stick your chest out. Drive your rib cage towards your hips. Scoop that coccyx under. Let's turn hips and shoulders towards that back leg. You're getting a lengthening here. That's your mindfulness. I want you to think about where your stretches are. And to the front. And swoop it round. Breathing in. Just breathe. That's it, good. That's it, yeah. Just trying to remember what, what we're one doing. That's it. Okay, one more, and then you can carry on here, or we can with the hips forwards there. Take the right hand down the front of that right leg. Okay, your hips are forward. You can start to hinge through the hips to get a lengthening in the sacrum. And here, turn your hip out now. Really turn the hip out. My hands on the foot there. Okay, let's see if we can lengthen that front leg. Breathe. Fabulous. Okay, let's. Challenge, hand by that toe. You can come down into here, just get a bit of a different stretch actually. It's entirely up to you. They're, they're all beneficial, aren't they? So we can have this lengthened or keep it bent. And just have two breaths here. And then bring that arm in secure everything, walk yourself back up. And again, make sure you're nice and secure before we 
bring everything back into the close. So I want to do downward facing dog, or we can just roll down. You, if you're really not great in your back, why don't you do a wall sit, you know, or do more of the same kind of stretches we've been doing. Uh, but this is really great all over body warm over. You try not to get poked in the bum. Uh, let's see, I think we'll be able to see there. Let's tilt it a little bit over. Okay, so. <clears throat> the balls have come off. Okay, so. Feet are forward facing, in line with your hips, just a little bit wider actually, bringing your chin to chest and I want you to feel that lovely lengthening in the top of your back. And then keep your shoulders boxed onto your body so you're not rounding those in, you're rounding your spine in. Okay, this might be where you get up to with your roll down. Just see how you go. If this is far enough for you, then just sway your ribs. Your ribs, your hips, I mean, yeah, and you'll get them baubles. Okay, or centre yourself and carry on your roll down. And then see how we are at keeping the legs straight. So walk it out, keep your heels to the floor and get that bottom low for your plank. Nice and spring in your elbows, have some breath. And then let's walk back up, just walking all the way back up. Beautiful option. Okay, you're hinged in your hips, nose towards your knees, and then re-stack that spine, tucking the coccyx under to come back up. You can stay keeping doing that, or just a version of it, coming down to your potential swaying, or walking all the way down. There we go, into that plank. So we're going to breathe, and then when we exhale, Keeping your heels towards the floor, as if someone's got your hips here, they're going to lift you up there, plant your ankles down, ears by your arm, and just get that lovely blood flow. Try and get your ankles down, breathe as you come into your plank, and then exhale, lift. That's it, good. Breathing in. Stay here or think about distributing the weight to your left a little bit and evenly over your arms. When you just adjust your feet because you're going to come up into downward facing dog with the right leg up. The idea is your heel sink, sinks down and your hips are level with the floor. So you're not twisting the pelvis, you're lifting the leg up with the glute, not your hips. Breathe in, come back in. Exhale, other side, whoops, straight. That's it. Feel the length in your body. Breathe in here. That's it, are you ready to exhale, reach. Other leg. That's it, breathe in to come back to the front. And exhale, come up in that lift. Don't twist that pelvis, keep your hips level with the floor. Heel down, engage the glutes, get the leg up, and then come back down. Let's do a couple on each side, or just one. You can go into on all fours if you're tired, do the, your on all fours sequence. That's it. Just breathe. That's great. That's it, yeah, good. Have some breath, exhale, reach, and then come into the plank. Have some breath to safely walk yourself back up. Brilliant. Scoop yourself up, restack the spine. Just let me readjust this. That's it, we're ready. So, what are we doing? I want to do some, this is your little bit of a balance. So we have your ankles together and then we just lean forwards. Now you stay polax in your body, crown to coccyx, so you're not bending here. You're engaging your glutes, 
that kind of just engage the sinews and your inner legs and you're just swaying forward a little bit try not to come up off the heels and then come back so you have to really use your tummy muscles i don't want your ribs coming up i don't want you to hollow in the lower back as you just balance on your heels and come back a bit and then forwards and then back and then you can lift up your toes don't bend the back don't lift your ribs up lift your pelvic floor it's just like a balancing uh, challenge and then come onto your, onto the pads of your feet lifting up the heels and then roll it back just keep breathing can you see you really need to engage your core to uh, keep your balance just a couple more in your own time that's it and then through whoops feel it squeeze your inner thighs lift your pelvic floor and then folds it's a bit of a crazy one but it's just to try and isolate those muscles okay subtly different you imagine you've got a ball like a snowball between your heels and you don't let it drop as you bring the weight into the pads of your feet and lift forwards and come up so we warmed up the calf muscles now you're contracting them to lift so you come up through your crown and then lower so it's just a lift and lower straight up really whoops and down good good lift and lower how are your ankles because the, the exercise is to just check we're not bowing at the knees or indeed falling out at the ankles so just a couple more good okay so distribute the weight onto your left and flexing the foot as if you've got a rod attached here you're just bringing the leg up and down so you don't bend the, the knee just engaging the inner and outer thigh lift and lower lift that pelvic floor so it's really as if you're using your pelvic floor to lift that leg don't move your hips though i don't want any of this it's like it's a pole attached to your heel and you're lifting it up and then we're going to take it to the other side breathe exhale lift the pelvic floor as if that's what's drawing the leg up you're warming these as well your glute needs um and you might get a little bit higher every time you make the move don't rush your body's got to warm into it and you're going to need this because we're plie squatting in a minute so you need these warmed up here and your inner thighs a little bit but it's just a nice gradual warm into it i'm going to add on done waiter how's that so one more We'll do done waiter without the band to begin with, because I want you to think about what's engaging before you start pulling and pulling anything out wrong. So done waiter, it's a scapular exercise. That's these uh, bones there in your shoulders, your shoulder blades. The idea is that your shoulder blades and hands of the shoulder blades don't come up. To keep safe shoulder blades, when we move them, we keep them all tight to the rib cage at the back. You know, I always imagine pigeons' wings just nicely soft and gentle there. So, with your elbows into your waist and your palms upwards, keep those shoulder blades softly travelling down your rib cage at the back. We're thinking about that stability in the core. We're not plucking the chest out as you lengthen the arms away. Okay, breathing in and exhale. So you might not be able to keep your elbows in or have your forearm parallel to the floor and the ceiling up there. 
and you might not be able to get your arms massively wide either. I look a bit like a Christmas tree. <laughs> but just go to your, you know, potential of that opening up there. Try and keep the elbows neatly tucked in, but if it's not happening for you, don't be going through pain, just go to your potential. Don't, I don't, definitely do not want this. Okay, we're learning to keep the core stable as we, we're isolating the movements, we're being mindful of what we want to move and how we want to move it. Okay, you ready for this? Okay, so now you know what muscles you want to engage, just challenge them a little bit more with this. Again, you're not opening your chest, you're using these. Okay, you're not doing that, because that's gonna bend your back and we don't, don't want your back to bend, we want the muscles, it's called multifidus. You muscle all up the spine, there's loads of them. But by keeping your back straight, you're encouraging those muscles all the way up your spine, to be staying, be staying stable so that it's safe, making you strong. It's all part of your core strength. All right, you ready? So we're gonna do 10 of those with it. If you just wanna do the one or the other, just your legs or just your arms, that's fine. Lift that pelvic floor to get that leg up. I think we're about halfway through. And don't do this, we will resist Woo, that was bad. We resist the band to come back. Soft rib cage. That's it. I think we've got three. How's that supporting leg? Good. That wasn't too bad. Are you ready? <coughs> Other side. Breathing in. Actually, really, we should breathe in as everything's open up. And close here. Your band should be as level or your hip should be as level with that band there so no swaying in that pelvis. How's your balance? Is it a bit different on this side? That's usually the case. Okay I think we're about halfway through. These were fun, I've enjoyed doing these. Should we do some more? Should we do five more on each side? Get them really warm, ready for your plies. I love those ones. Three, two, see if you can get it a bit higher, keep your hips level, and the other side. Breathe in, get, keep that level, don't tilt. Just three, again, on this last side. Woo! Last one. Good. Right, let's uh, get some movement here. Scoot that coccyx under. So taking that pelvis backwards, posterior. Can you see it's tilting this way? And then we'll tilt it forwards. Try and isolate it here. Here, your ribs are open. Close ribs to hips. Posterior tilt. Anterior, open rib cage, couple more. Woo! Good, it's all here. This is one of the hardest exercises I teach because I don't want you shoving your whole unit forward and back. Okay, it's here, it's just this bit there. Like you've got a bowl and you, you know, what do they call that? Twerking. Okay, uh, I also just wanted to have your feet level a bit wider than your hips. And just do a circle. If it's good, if you've got not the greatest hips, these can hurt you. You just go to your potential. Okay? Just stay at the back. That's what's better for you. Or just stay at the front. I'll give it a whole wind round. And do it on the other direction. Okay. So enough of that, because we've got to get into our plies. So, I'm going to give you loads of options. This is how we're going to start off. Okay, you're just going to come up on one at a time. You come up one heel at a time. Try and keep these level. 
lift here okay then that will try 10 both those you know i said we were warming up those uh calf muscles this is why five four three two one okay this is going to be a massive issue just do regular squats the fab okay we're taking the crown down to the coccyx we're not leaning forwards we're plummeting down your knees come out hovering over those ankles and as we get lower wriggle your toes out and come down and then up <sighs> okay how's this listen to your body right this we've done lots of work you're going to be a bit contracted here we're just opening and closing so as you get warm wiggle those toes out because the idea is knees need to be over the ankles i really don't want you like this i don't want your knees overshooting your toes so you're gonna to have to accommodate that by opening your toes and coming down like this but just go to where's you know a nice challenge but don't kill yourself you know don't um if you've got issues just stay safe okay right so we come down aiming for definitely don't bring your knees in either out in line with those ankles and lift and lower lift and lower okay a couple more on each side and then we're going to do both together so we'll do 10 so you might want to do five on each side or 10 together we engaged here a bit lower if you like you know we're warming those up now you know why five four don't bring those knees in three two and one bring yourself up give yourself a bit of a wiggle all right now i'll show you the top because we're going to add on now i want you to not twist in your pelvis i'll show you it's probably easier you're taking the, you're bending to the right. So your left hand comes up, not down and forwards, up, and then the other one goes that way and then come up. Now you have to really make sure you're not sticking your chest out. Scoop that coccyx under so that it's your core working. Do you know what I mean? I don't want your, your spine exposed and your chest exposed like this because it can hurt your back. So roll that coccyx under and you come in remember those panes of glass one at the front one at the back you're gliding down the side of each reaching one way reaching the other way you're going to breathe here exhale here reach and return if this is hurting your back if you've got a bit of a wobbly spine a bit dicky oof, um then uh you know just do just do these Okay, but otherwise it's great for the obliques. Okay, as you get warmer, you can really reach and come back up. Really reach and come back up. So one's going in the opposite. What I like you to imagine is the bottom hand's pulling the spine this way, and this one's pulling the crown the other way. So your spine's lengthening to the side, stretching and uh, conditioning your obliques here okay you know what's coming now don't you right we're gonna come down okay we'll do a few here uh, reach it's kind of easier because you're kind of a bit more compact to uh, reach and snap oh uh, reach come in good have you got some breath so that you can exhale here breathe in here Okay, so keep doing this. Oh, you might want a little go of some windows as well. So here, again, if you've got shoulder blade issues, shoulder issues, this might be really great. So you come initiating the move with the elbows, 
bringing your arms in here okay get nice and low or you can do it stood up but this gets your mind off your legs super engaged crown above your cop cop coccyx okay uh, and then we'll just take the palms to the floor so notice the shoulders are in, in line with those elbows and you between those two panes of glass still and then you keep your shoulders level and your uh, elbows level with your shoulders and just do this how are your legs okay <laughs> Right, what we're gonna do now is to come up at any time, but if you want a little challenge, lift up your heels as well. Okay, let's do 10. Lift, lift, low, low, as much as you can. Good. Halfway. Okay, we're not quite coming up yet. If you can bear it, stay here. And we'll just do a couple, let's do five. Initiate, you can be up if you want. I'm just trying to, you know, challenge you, but stay safe. This, it's initiated from your elbows, not your fingertips. Fingertips come for a ride. Keep your spine still, keep your chest still. How are we doing? Have you got to live like this now? You're never going to get back. Okay. Okay, you know how I like to do this. Wait into your heels. From here, bring those feet in. Wait into your toes, into the pads of your feet. And then from the hips, draw the heels in. Okay, wait into the heels. Draw the toes in. All the way in. You can get some lubrication here by doing that again. I'll just step. And think about that ball and socket. Draw your knee around the hip. Woo! There you go. So we're just going to sit down. We'll do a roll up and roll down uh, and get ready for the, for the bridge. We'll have to warm these up as well a bit more. Well, I might kick it down. Have to be careful. So from your eye position crown above that coccyx beautiful straight back so we're not sticking this out these ribs are down here so we're engaging that core yeah okay let's just do some pelvic tilts from here scoop the coccyx under and separate ribs from hips it's hard to get your pelvis forward when you sat here but honestly do what you can let's get some life into that pelvis Okay, so we are scooping the coccyx under. Notice you're now in C curve with your chin to your chest there. Breathe, and then as you exhale, lift that pelvic floor, and we're going into roll down. E easiest, slightly harder, harder, hardest. Okay, get that pubic bone towards your nose. Honestly, it works. Can you see the spine's curved? It's catching the floor there to come down bring those arms up okay i'm gonna let you bring your ribs up have a stretch oh lovely okay right have a breath and then you can either stay lying down or do some pel and do some pelvic tilts or we can come up with those arms you can have your knees bent if you wish as your arms leave those ears bring the chin to chest and again Bring that pubic bone towards the nose and it really gets you back into the floor. It helps lever you up, literally. Coming up and exhale. Breathing in. Are we ready? Straight back, eye position back. Honestly, it's just the best way to explain it for me. Pubic bone comes to nose. Can you see the back clipped into place, ready to catch you, lift your pelvic floor abdominals engaged gorgeous okay right let's see if we can while we're here um just do a little bit of uh 
V work. So um, from here, just, just come up to, to here and stay here. So you're not all the way up because it's harder. And then come down, breathing in, exhale, lift. Okay, breathing in, come down from that C curve. And then back into the C curve, come up, stay in your V, and then down. Okay, this is a this is a bit of a bonus. We didn't do this on Monday. Just adding a little bit of intermediate on. Okay, come down. Now I want you to draw up your heels from your pelvic floor into tabletop. So scoop that coccyx under and then extend the legs. So you've got your spine imprint and you're lowering those legs and lift. Lower and lift. It's absolutely crucial, remember, that as you lower the legs, the ribs don't go up. Okay, breathing in and exhale. The tendency is here to really get your ribs high and have a space in your back, you shouldn't, you need your pubic bone to nose as the legs go down to get that move safe. Okay, bend each leg, drop each one, and then let's see if we can do it together. Um, we are going into the bridge in a minute, just going off piece a bit, but it's quite good fun. Um, okay. So to do both, to get yourself into that teaser, then it's technique. And some days it just happens. And let me tell you, some days you feel like a pancake, can't get off the floor. Well, let's see how we go. So I'm going to bring the chin to chest, bring the pubic bone to the nose. So my back is now ready to help lever me up. And then I bring the legs up and come up here. Okay, and then the arms come up, but it's kind of now lengthening in your spine. See curve to come down. Okay, have some breath. And just do the arms or just do the legs or just do your roll up and down. Now I'm going to try three. Breathing in. Exhale, chin to chest and lift. And then come down. Get your spine into the mat as best you can. Have some breath. Exhale, lift, and lower. That's your breathing, one more. Exhale, pubic bone up, chin to chest. Leave your legs up as your arms come up. And down. Oh, brilliant. Draw each foot up by the power of that belly button and that imaginary bungee cord there and really scoot that coccyx under and hollow the back away from the mat as you do your pelvic tilts. Squashing the grape, pubic bone to nose, inflate the grape as your ribs go to your, as your hips go to your knees. Okay, in your own time. Okay, now I want to um, just give these a bit of a stretch. So it's the band nice and wide over the foot and draw your elbows into your waist there. So the foot, the foot's flexed there. And then you can have the other foot nice and outstretched or not. It can be bent if you like, and just breathe here. Really draw it in so this gets lengthened so that when we do these crazy uh, pelvis strengthening, glute strengthening bridges, you're nice and warm. Okay, release. And again, there. Squeeze. <sighs> How are you doing? Try and get that leg at a right angle to your body. Okay. 
squeeze that band. It's like you can do this without the band, but honestly, doesn't it work? It's like your band's doing the stretching, but your leg is as well. You can really feel that. Beautiful leg. Breathe into the length of it. Okay, you can just stay here if you like, or we can bend that leg, get rid of this. And we'll just go do one bridge so that you've got that option. You mustn't have the cushion under your head for the bridge. Pubic bone level with those hips. Scoot that coccyx under spine imprint, engage the glutes. These should be warm as you come up into your bridge. That's it, come onto your shoulders, not your neck. And then bring those arms up and over. Your shoulders are on the floor still. Leaving your arms here, let's sequentially get that spine back down on the floor. You're gonna need your hips towards your shoulders to get your lower back into the mat. Gotta roll yourself neutral to get that little gap back. Bring your arms over, keep your pelvis still. Don't drop, don't move now. As you bring your chin to your chest, lengthen your spine here from your crown and from your coccyx that goes towards your feet. Okay, come down. You can do that to your merry heart's content, right? Or we're gonna do some leg work. So I'll show you with the bottom on the floor for a few, just to warm into it. Toe to the sky, I'm just gonna tilt this up a little bit so you can see how straight we're going to try and get those legs right toe above the hip soft fairy feet in that supporting foot you bring your foot down flex here and then draw it all the way down okay here we are you can breathe in flex the foot point to bring it all the way back on your exhale i think just breathe just breathe whatever, you know, whatever you feel you want to breathe like. Just like we say, don't stop. Getting cramp in my toe. Okay, let's swap over. Climb that toe. I want that toe above that hip. Bring it down to the knee. With your, your leg there. And then flex that foot. And bring it all the way down. Point the toe and lift. Keep it pointed to draw it in line with your quads, flex and lower. Let's just do a few more here and then we'll do exactly the same. Woo! With your bum in the air, how's that? Mustn't forget we've got some, uh, got a few more things to do. Okay, so climb into your bridge. It's crucial that the supporting foot heel is underneath that knee your hips stay level okay so not rolling in your hips and get that leg up okay now i'm going to do five on each side just because it's a bit nicer and then we'll come back to it if you're feeling really strong do 10 all together on each side but i'm going to do five here i'm really keeping the hips high I'm trying not to sway that pelvis and then swap here. Okay, have a breath, come down if you need. You can do these with your bottom on the floor, just like we did, but this not only gives you a nice mobilization in your hips, you're strengthening your glutes and your pelvis. And you can feel it in your hamstrings, can't you? Okay, ready? Last three. A two. Soft shoulders, soft jaw. Oh my gosh, I've got cramp. Okay. So have a bit of a wiggle. Give yourself a bit of a prod if you've got a bit of a seizing up of a muscle. Breathe, exhale, lift. Okay. Get your weight evenly distributed over the feet. Five on each side again. Soft shoulders, if you're clenching in your jaw, just put your tongue in the roof of your mouth to stop any clenching going on there. Last three on this side. Okay, keep those hips high. Last one. Breathe, 
Are you ready? Extend, lower. We're gonna have a bit of a hip pelvis opening and then we'll revisit. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Keep those hips high. Last two, then a rest. You got this, good, nice and slow. Okay, draw that heel up, bring that spine sequentially down. Wiggle your toes together and your knees. And we're going to do knee drops. So, get that right knee to the floor. Woo, train that glute to be super soft. And we can go into windows like we did in that froggy position, like this as well. Ooh, breathe. Oh gosh. On your next exhale, secure everything, bring that knee up, breathe, exhale, lift, secure, as that other knee drops, remember, will, mindfulness, get that glute soft, let that knee flow to the floor, open that pelvis, good. Okay. On your next exhale, secure everything to bring that knee back up. We're going into the bridge. Get your knees in line with the hips. You can stay down, just keep doing knee drops if you like. Or we'll do 10 on each leg. You can do five, five, 10, whatever you like. Okay, here we go. For five, four. Yeah, you can actually do that if it helps you. Three, soft shoulders, two, soft jaw, swap over, breathe, exhale, lengthen, it'll feel nice in that leg to lengthen it after that contraction. Think about having the strongest pelvis, the strongest glutes, I nearly said pert then, but I don't know if I've ever achieved that. But we can but try, we're ready, two, and one, have a rest, do you? Uh, Think of me, Bob, do your knee drops if you like, or if you're feeling up to it, if you've had a great day and want the challenge, carry on. Are you ready to swap? Stretch that other leg. The aim is to feel this tomorrow. So with that little bit of a break, doing these repetitions is fun. <laughs> Here we go. Just going into our last five on each leg. For five. Think about all the goodies you're going to eat. Running up to Christmas. It's not quite the same, is it? Are you getting all your Facebook histories? All the lovely things we used to do. And now you're here doing Pilates with me. Swap over. Here we go. Good. Do what your body needs. It's more fun to follow. Okay. Just two. Stretch is as important as strengthen. So now's the time. Good. Bring that spine down. Okay, different muscles. Okay, breathe. Bring your right leg in. And take your left hand just at the top there. No, no, sorry, doing crisscross. You want your fingertips on your ears here. And we're going to lengthen out that leg as we bring the left elbow to that right knee. Okay, we breathe as we switch. Exhale here, breathing in. Exhale as you bring it close. That spine 
is well and truly into the mat. Okay. We're going to go for 10 on each side. Lift our pelvic floor. You're doing fabulous and nearly done and done. Now, nice open door and a few clap. Are we ready? Halfway, five, four, lift that pelvic floor, three, last two, breathe, exhale, last one. Woo. So, this will be a nice opening of that chest, coming onto the side, heels in line with your spine. So just a continuation of that line. Hips are level and you'll want your oh, cushions here. Arms are together, hands together. Keeping the hips stacked, keeping these shoulders stacked. You're bringing your upper arm up and over. Getting some twist in that spine rotation. So hips are stacked and the arm, the shoulder here goes back and then come down. So when you get that arm behind here, it's like there's a weight, like a magnet on your fingertips, drawing to the floor down here. Great. And return. One more. Good. Bring it back. Are you ready? We're going to do 30 clam. We're going to start off with no band. I want you to concentrate on flexing the feet and pushing like your tailbone towards your heels, like you're pushing down your heels. The most important thing is to keep these level so you're really working these hips so you don't fall back onto your bottom. You use your muscle to work against that leverage. Okay, you can use the band if you like. You don't need to, honestly, it's hard enough. And I'll leave it up to you when we use that apparatus there. Here we go. That's it. It's no competition, don't strain. Halfway, soft here, level here. Could do with being a bit higher, to be honest. We want the, the neck there in line with the spine, hips are level, so are your shoulders. Are we ready? Last 10. Good. Nine, belly button in. Squeeze, release. Here we go for five. Four, three, two, one. We're going to do piriformis stretch. So that leg that was doing the work at the top, so my left leg was at the top, so left foot goes on right knee. Scoop the coccyx under, draw your knees up. Left hand between the legs. You can catch it round the hamstring or the shin. Bring that leg a bit lower to just get a nice stretch in that, that glute there. Okay, breathe. And then we've just got the same on the other side and you're done. You're done, done. Soft shoulders. Good. And release. Roll to the side, walk yourself up. Okay, swap over. Be ready for an open door. Lovely. Don't fall off your cushion, will you? Heels in line with the 
spine, push down with the heels, keep the hips stacked there. Even when your arm goes up and over, your hips are stacked because we're getting a twist here in this. 20 hundred hours. Oh gosh, he was a bit rude. Uh, in your thoracic there, top bit of your rib cage. So push this hip forwards as the arm there goes back and come round. Breathing in. Remember that magnet just attracting your hand to the floor. Open your chest. That's it, good. Exhale. Breathing in open. Enjoy. That's it. Ooh, stay here if you like. Or we can go into this warming in of the clam. Push down through those heels. Keep these lengthened. Level, rather. What's going on with that? So you can stay here or we can carry on with that increase of intensity. But honestly, just do it right. Just keep those hips level and your heels pushed away down there. That's the main thing. Okay, to get. I say this every time, it's strengthening your knees. Belly button in and breathe. Okay, keep going. That's it. Halfway. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, just 10, 10 to go, then you're strong. Soft in this shoulder. Breathe and open there. You're ready to stretch. You're all looking at your phones. Mine's definitely dinging. I apologize, I didn't turn it off. So it could be mine you're hearing. Okay, are we ready? Let's warm that up. Go on your back. So my right leg was turning out, so that right foot goes on that knee. Scoop that coccyx under, get that lift. Right hand between the legs, catch your hamstring or your shin. Breathe. Ooh, smell the tree. Breathe into the lengthening of that muscle right there. If you're not getting it, bring this down. If you have hip replacements, don't be doing this. Just keep everything a little bit looser, okay? <clears throat> yeah, good. So that the, the hand goes in between the legs, like in that triangle. You can have the hand here. Oh, there, it just gets it a bit, bit deeper. Good. This feels good. If you get pain where the stretch is, you can do this in bed. Okay, roll it to the side. We're just gonna cross the legs. Sorry, I need to turn that off, it's going mental. Okay, I'm ready. Breathing in, bring those arms up. Right hand goes to right knee, and then hips are forward. You come twisting the thoracic at the top. Breathing in, left hand to left knee. Exhale, hips are forward. Breathing in, so I'm kind of actually pushing a little bit on that knee to get that twist that I want on the top here. Breathing in and exhale. Good, good. Will your hips forwards, will your shoulders back. Good. 
Shall we do one more on each side? This one's for you. The only minute you'll have for you all week is my guest. Breathing in, exhale. Well done. Namaste, folks. You're amazing. Ha, ha, ha.